Hello, I'm Dr. Pravas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we'll discuss about the simple LR1 or SLR1. Simple, simple LR1, simple LR1 or SLR1. Okay. So in the previous class, in the previous classes, we have already discussed about the LR0. LR0. What is the problem in LR0? The problem in LR0, the placing of reduced action. We blindly place reduced action in all action states in LR0 parser, in LR0 parser. And this may lead some unnecessary SR and SR or shift reduce or RR or we can say reduce reduce conflicts. Unnecessarily create SR or RR conflict uh, in case of means LR0. So to avoid this drawback, SLR or simple LR1, SLR or simple LR1 uh, parser or parsing table is constructed. So what is the main difference between, what is the main difference between the LR0 parser and SLR1 parser? What is the main difference? See, the main difference between the SLR1 parser and LR0 parser is only its reduced action. Everything is the only difference is reduced action. Okay, shift action in LR0 is completely same as SLR1. Go to actions is completely same in LR0 and SLR1. The reduced actions is only the difference with only the difference between LR0 and SLR1. In case of LR0, in case of LR0, the reduced actions are placed on all action states, all action states. But in case of but in case of SLR1, in case of SLR1, the reduced actions will place based on follow set calculation. This is the difference. Okay. See the difference between the difference between the LR0 and SLR1 is that is that the way of placing reduced actions, way of placing reduced actions in the table. In the table. So in SLR1, in SLR1, the reduced actions are placed based on follow set, based on follow set calculation, based on follow set calculation. Okay. Everything is same. Everything is same in LR0 and SLR1. If you will compare LR0 and SLR1, only the difference is the reduced action. There's nothing. Everything is same. Okay. Now we'll construct one. SLR1 parsing table. Okay, see. Okay. See the question. Construct the SLR1. Construct the SLR1 parsing table for the following grammar. Construct the SLR1 parsing table for the following grammar. Okay. Ver the next question is here. Verify the following grammar is SLR1 or not. Verify the following grammar is SLR1 or not. The second question, verify the following grammar is unambiguous or not, okay? First, we'll construct the SLR1 parsing table. Then we'll check this grammar is SLR1 or not, and this grammar is also unambiguous or not, okay? See. First, this is the given grammar. This is the given grammar. Now we'll convert this grammar into augmented grammar. Into augmented grammar means what? E prime to e prime to e, then e to t plus c, then e to t, then t to i. Okay, so now now we'll construct Okay, now we'll construct, first, now we'll construct the LR0 items. It is completely same as LR0 process. It is completely same process as LR0. Okay, similarly, we'll construct the LR0 items. Now we'll construct the LR0 items as completely same as LR, LR0 parser, okay? So see, E prime, E 
e prime two dot e. So now we'll find the closure of e. So e two dot t plus e. Now we'll find the closure uh, e to t again one more. E two dot t. So let's see. E two t. Then now we'll find the again closure of t. E two dot i. Okay, so this is I zero state. Now we'll scan here E. So this is E prime two E dot. Then we'll scan T E two T dot. Plus c e, e dot plus c e, then e two t dot then then we'll scan i t two i dot so this is i one step. This is I two state. This is I three state. Here, we'll scan plus E two T plus then dot E. Okay. Now we'll find the closure of E. See E two dot T e plus C. E. Then e two dot t. Then we will find the closure of t. T two dot i. This is i four state. Okay. So now. This is e means e two t plus e dot. Then we'll scan t means e two t dot plus e. Then e two t dot. See, this is I four. This is I five state, and this state, this state is completely similar to, but I two. So this is I two. Then I I means T two I dot. See here, this state is similar to I three. So I three. So I five state is completed, I two is repeated, I three is repeated. So stop here. No need to explore. So this these are the complete set of L R zero items. These are the complete set of L R zero items. Now we'll construct the S L R one parsing table based on based on these L R zero items. Based on these L R zero items. Okay. See. Okay. Now we'll construct.
Okay. So these are the tables. See, this is I zero, I one, I two, I three, I four, I five. So this is the action states. Action states plus I. Yeah. The how many terminals are there? Plus and I. There are two terminals. So plus I. This is dollar. Okay. So then how many non-terminals are there? E and T. This is E. This is T. So these parts are called as action. These parts are called as action. These parts are called as O two. Okay. This is, means this table is completely similar. The process is completely similar to L R zero. Okay. So see now we'll place first the go to action. See the go to action is completely same as in L R zero. L R zero and S L R one is same. Okay. See zero read I zero read E. I zero read E, E. How many go to actions? This is E, T, then E, T. So there are four go to actions. Okay. I zero read E goes to one. I zero read E goes to one. I zero read T goes to two. I zero read T goes to two. Then here I four read E goes to five. I four read E goes to five. I four read T goes to two. I four read T goes to two. Okay, this is completely similar to means go to actions are completely similar to L R zero item. Now we'll see. Now we'll see the shift actions. Shift actions is also completely similar to L R zero. L R zero and S L R one, the shift actions are same. Okay, how many shift action? This one is shift action. This is one shift action. This is there are three shift action. See zero zero read I goes to three means S three zero read I. This is S three. Then two read plus goes to four four I four I four state means S four. Two read plus goes to four means S four. Then four read I goes to three means S three. Four read I goes to S three. Okay, so this is over. So this is over. Means uh, the shift actions are over. Now we'll see how many. Ma, we'll see the reduce section. Okay, now we'll see the reduce section. First, make the number. This is one. Two, Before placing the reduce sections, first we have to find the follow set. First we have to find the follow set of here E and T. So follow of E and follow of T. Why we will find follow of E and T? Because reduce sections in SLR one reduce sections are placed based on based on follow set calculation. See here, here is the here is the starting symbol. So just write dollar. Now we'll check e in the right side. This is e in the right side. There is nothing in the right side. Nothing in the right side means fall off is fall off fee. So fall off is dollar. So close it. Okay. Now we'll find the fall off t. So here one t. This is the second t. There is something on the right side of t. There is something on the right side of t. Something on the right side means. Fast up this part. Fast up. So fast up this. Fast up this part means plus. Then, yeah, there is nothing on the right side of T. Since there is nothing on the right side of T means, so follow up T is follow up E. So follow up E is dollar. Okay. So follow up E and follow up T completed. Now we'll see. Now we'll check the completed action. Now we'll check the completed action. See in I two. This is one completed action in I three state one completed action I four no I five state one completed action I three one completed action. Okay, now we'll see in I two state in I two state 
I2. In I2 state, E to T dot. One reduced action is there, E to T dot. So E to T dot means what? Just take the number, so number is two, two means R2. Okay. See, how to flash in I2 state, how to flash reduced actions in SLR1. In case of, in case of LR0, in case of LR0, we'll place this reduced action in all action states, means I2 to plus, I2 to I, I2 to dollar. In case of LR0, but in case of SLR1, we'll place this R2 action or reduced action on I2, on I2 based on the follow set calculation, based on the follow set calculation. So here, yeah, E to T dot, since E to T dot, so we'll place what follow of E, follow of E is here, dollar, follow of E is dollar. So I2 to dollar, I2 to dollar is R2. So I2 to dollar is R2, okay? So now we'll check uh, one more S, T to I dot, T to I means in I3, in I3, the reduced action is R3. The reduced action is R3. So we'll place R3, R3 based on the follow set calculation, follow of T here, follow of T is plus and dollar, follow of T is plus and dollar. So I3 plus R3, then I3 dollar, this is R3. Okay. Now we'll see one more reduced action is yes. in I5, one more reduced action E to T plus C means what R1. So follow of E, so follow of E is dollar. So I5 to dollar, I5 to dollar is what R1. I5 to dollar is R1. Okay. So this is the, so this is the SLR1 parsing table. So this is the SLR1 parsing table. Okay, this is the SLR1 parsing table. One important point, we just hear main difference in LR0 and SLR1 is that we place follow, sorry, we place reduced sections based on the follow set calculation in case of SLR1. This is the main difference. Okay. So what is the second question here? Just see. Verify. So this is the First question is over, first of the SLR1 parsing table, okay. Verify the following grammar is SLR1 or not, okay. Verify the following grammar is SLR1 or not. Now we'll check how to know that the grammar is SLR1 or not. If the similar process, the similar process, we can follow uh, the process of LR0 also. If there is no multiple entries, if there is if there is no multiple entries, no multiple entries, multiple, multiple entries in the parsing table, okay, if there is no multiple entries in the parsing table, then this grammar is SLR1. Then this grammar is SLR1. So see, in this, in the given SLR, in the given SLR1 parsing table, there is no multiple entries. There is no multiple entries. So this grammar is SLR1. So this grammar is SLR1. Okay. So what is the third question? Just see. What is the third question? Third question, verify the following grammar is unambiguous or not. Verify the following grammar is unambiguous or not. How to know? Just see. If the grammar is SLR1, if the grammar is SLR1 means this grammar is also unambiguous, unambiguous. Since this grammar is SLR1, since the grammar is SLR1, so this grammar is also unambiguous on ambiguous, okay? So we can do one more. See, 
This is the LR0. This is SLR1. This is on ambiguous grammar. Sorry, on ambiguous grammar. Okay? On ambiguous grammar. Right. So, this is the actually important Venn diagram. Every LR0, if a grammar is LR0 means the grammar must be SLR1. But if the grammar is SLR1 means this grammar need not be if a grammar is SLR1, means this grammar may or may not be LR0. But if a grammar, every LR0 grammar is SLR1, but every SLR1 grammar need not be LR0. Every LR0 grammar is unambiguous, but every unambiguous grammar need not be LR0. Every SLR1 grammar is unambiguous, but every unambiguous grammar need not be LR0. Okay? This is the whole Venn diagram of means uh, relationship between LR0, SLR1 and unambiguous grammar on also ambiguous. Okay. So in the next class, we'll discuss one more example of SLR1. Okay. Thanks for watching.